Hello everybody and welcome back to Stellaris, where we are beginning our crusade to purge the galaxy of the scourge that is life. Now, we're going to go ahead and merge these guys together, and we're also going to bring the fleet, or rather the transports, over to Cedar. Excellent. We're going to head on over, and yeah, these guys are merging, that is correct. Excellent. So we are almost ready to go. Now keep in mind, we are we're hemorrhaging energy credits. That is completely fine and expected. This is, in fact, the plan. <laughs> we are supposed to be hemorrhaging em energy credits right now because we must expand or die. And I personally don't choose to die. So we're just waiting right now for these guys to get into position. Okay, let's move all of our fleets into position. Let's see, these guys are really just on defensive duty. We're not planning on pushing into this region right now. Do we even have any claims over here? No, we don't. So yeah, that's not something that we're planning on doing. We're going to be pushing in over here, and I want these guys to be ready to jump over here right away, and these guys to be ready to jump over here. Fantastic. We are about to go to war. I think... I think we're ready. So if we declare on these guys, all of these guys will join them. We are going to do conquer war goals. We don't honestly care about any of these. Like, I suppose we could take a look at these. I, I'm pretty sure they're all pathetic to us. So we're going to declare on them. The real question is, we have declared war. now that we've done this, what do the arbitrators think about this? And do we care what they think? This isn't much of a fleet. It's not much of a fleet at all. Their fleet power is roughly evenly matched to ours, though. They have a fleet here. It's still not that scary of a fleet, honestly. They're utilizing a lot. Of bonuses to shields. So armor will be good against them. But honestly, I'm not sure we care. We need to tick forward one day here. So that the borders open up. But now... Oh, there's no route to move in here. I'm sorry, what? Do we need to tick forward another day? Yeah, we had to tick forward two days. Awkward. Okay, we're going to move in over... He not here. We're going to move in over here as well. We're going to take this planet as soon as possible. Okay. We'll see what the arbitrator arbitrators Office have to say about this. Wonderful. Now this is just going to be an overwhelming, very quick attack here. And we're going to head over here. And then we're going to head in there. Excellent. I want to check on what's going on over here. Fine. They have a habitat here. This habitat has pathetic armies. And not that great of armies on that colony either. So let's go take the habitat first. And in the meantime, we will begin bombarding at their colony. And also keep in mind, we have gateways at each of our locations where we're defending. So we can just port one of our defensive fleets literally anywhere we want to. So that'll be great. Here's applied superconductivity. That'll be, I mean, it'll take some of the edge off on our energy credits. But ultimately, we're going to need to continue selling some of these minerals to keep afloat. As well as a few other things, I'm sure. Okay, so Isweria is now partly occupied by us. We are going to immediately begin bombardment at Kartox. We're going to need to free up our army as soon as we can. Sensor array power surge. Oh my. Monitoring systems have recorded an unusual power surge in our sensor arrays. There does not appear to have been any damage. In fact, the brief fluctuation in transferred energy must have temporarily boosted our deep scanning capabilities because a hitherto unrecorded strategic resource has been revealed in our borders. 
Analysts are still attempting to identify the source of the power surge, though preliminary findings suggest that the spike was not caused by external celestial phenomena. Interesting. We have a new strategic resource that was exposed, and that's just a volatile moat. Okay. Well, we have an idle construction ship anyway, so let's just pop right on up there and get that constructed. Fantastic. Okay. So, there is some combat going on. Not much. We honestly don't expect too much in terms of resistance here. So, it should be fine. Oh, hello! The third chamber. After a long and tiring search, a secret lever hidden under the floor was found, which provided access to the fourth chamber. As before, alien glyphs adorned the wall above yet another door. Those who wish to parlay with Zarklan must first find their way. There is in each chamber a hidden key that must be turned to proceed. The purpose of these challenges will soon be revealed. Remarkable. Okay, we're going to keep looking. So we should be landing here momentarily. Yeah, we are currently landing here. This should be no problem whatsoever. Absolutely none. Yeah, this is not going to be difficult in the slightest. So now we are going to land on Duckstain. That'll be a little more difficult, but not super hard, honestly. And we're going to want to bring our armies up this way as soon as we can. We're kind of stalled out up here unless we wanted to bring in more fleets, which I'm, I'm really not in too much of a rush on that one. So Dockstone will fall momentarily. A study has been completed. And there it goes. Fantastic. Kinetic weapon damage has been improved. Let's grab armor in case we do make that Awakened Empire upset. And honestly, what do we want to do with this fleet? We could bring it up over this way and hit up the LR9 Singularity and just start taking, like, down to here. That might not be a terrible idea. And we're going to, of course, send our armies over to Isweria for now. And we're going to land armies over on Kartox. Fantastic. I'm a little surprised to see they're still at 0% war exhaustion. That's... A little odd to me, but okay. Apparently that's what they want to do. I'm also a little surprised to see that this combat fleet here is uh, a little damaged. But we should definitely be bombarding. There's no doubt about that. So, the question is, how long will it take our armies to get up here? I mean, it shouldn't take very long, right? We just had to jump there, and then that jumps us all the way over to Grumium, and then we come on in. So it really shouldn't be too bad. So that's absolutely great. Admin cap coming up. We're going to need that. We may want to grab another admin cap increase, actually. And let's, yeah, let's, let's think about doing that. The third combat fleet is up over there. Of course, the fourth combat fleet is just chilling over here in defensive posture, and the fifth here, and the sixth here, also in defensive postures. Okay, we should be moving in over here quite soon. That's great. We're currently maxed on our alloys. Oh, okay. <laughs> Perfect timing. The machine uprising. The anomalies observed across our inform information networks, computational engines, and synthetic workers have finally come to a violent head. They're all in one place. I don't exactly understand. Wait, did they take all of Cybrex Alpha? Apparently so. Well, this is awkward. We knew this would happen. We knew this would happen. So we could choose to rise up and fight to overthrow the Grim Council, or we could choose to eradicate the robots. And that's exactly what we're going to do. Then we fight. Okay, this will be completely fine. I mean, yeah, it's awkward. The timing is not the best. But we can wrap this up really very quickly. And that was always the plan. 
So we're going to push in over like that. These guys are going to come in here. Okay. So I'm just checking to see. We lost Thrudma. That does hurt. Okay. So we really don't need three fleets in a defensive posture. I'm going to move these guys over to attack at Thredma. And we're going to just crush that machine uprising as well. No problem. A belligerent fleet has been engaged. Absolutely no problem. I'm... Let's see. How strong are these guys? Yeah, they're pathetic. They're pathetic to us. I didn't want these guys to exist anyway. <laughs> so... <laughs> This is fine. I don't mind this at all. They are currently attacking our capital. And I'm going to pull back this force to defend our capital. That's going to need to happen. And then... I don't really want to bombard here. Uh, how much do they have garrisoning? Not much. Noted. Okay, how are we doing over here? Our armies are still on their way in. A That's fine. Is that is completely fine. These guys are going to have a hard time. Ah, they've got a second fleet here. I'm going to redirect these guys to come over to Void Pool as well. They're going to be able to take out this spaceport. But, here's our reinforcements. Excellent. So we are invading over here at Kartox, and we're going to move these guys straight up to here. Excellent. An enemy planet has been secured. Okay, let's head over to this location here, and let's land our armies there. We don't need to take, I think, any other planets over here, so that will be absolutely fine. Luckily, we were well prepared for this. Even if we didn't know exactly when it would happen, we knew that it would happen. Eventually. The timing was not necessarily the best, but it's fine. Okay, so we got that under control. We're going to need to reinforce both of these fleets, and we're just going to absolutely pump the ships out. No problem whatsoever there. I'm going to send the 6th back over here. And then the 5th, I'm going to send them over to here. To grab back some of these territories. I still find it a little strange that we had all of our robots literally all in the same spot, but they were apparently this spread out. <laughs> Whatever. We'll crush it. No problem. And we're going to have another pair of fleets freed up very, very soon. So the robots are not really going to be an issue for us. Excellent. Let's go grab some of these spaceports, or rather the uh, the star bases. Even if we're not going to be necessarily landing on these worlds just yet, that'll take a little bit of time for us. Excellent. These lads will chill here and just make sure that nobody comes in over here. I don't think anyone will, to be clear. We could start working on this disabled gateway, but I think maybe the starbase has to start regenerating. I'm not sure. We're currently out of consumer goods, and I'm just going to buy 2,500. That'll keep us going for a little while. We're going to run out of energy credits quite soon as well, but that's fine. We can make this happen. I definitely wasn't expecting the sudden two-front war, <laughs> but it's okay. I'm... Well, that's it. That answers the question about the gateways, then. Yes, indeed, it does. Okay. So, they took that gateway with them. We're going to upgrade this gateway, then. Fantastic. And we're going to be landing up here momentarily. So, this fleet can be brought over to Mestros. That's a really 
awkward place to jump to. But that's okay. They'll get there soon enough. This fleet, we are going to tell to come to Threadma, which we did not have it doing previously. Fine. Now, my next question is, this disabled gateway in here, do we have to actually hold this to upgrade that? Yeah, we do. Fair enough. That's completely fine. Armor upgrade coming in, we'll grab kinetic weapon attack speed next. Excellent. Somehow they are ahead of us in war exhaustion here. Okay. <laughs> That's very awkward. I think it's because of this rebellion, though. Once we have all of this taken over, which we pretty much do now. Yeah, we actually do now have everything that we want taken over. We're going to move this army over and... Let's see, we want to probably move into Threadma. It's probably where we want, want to go first. However, here's the fourth chamber. This time, the lever was concealed in the roof. The fifth chamber has more alien writing. There is none. The challenges are as meaningless as these words. That is my lesson. I am Zarklan, the pawn. Swept along by the currents of history against my will. Proceed in an audience shall be yours, should one still be of interest. The next chamber is likely to be the last. Astounding. Okay. Let's proceed. And I would like to... Let's see. Who do we have in Voidpool? The fourth combat fleet? I'm going to send them over to... Actually, to Himpra. I want to get that under control. We do need physics research, and we're going to continue with the energy credits from jobs for right now. Excellent. Yeah, we're just going to pull out of here for now. They may attack through this Elgate. That is something that they may do. But I'm interested at this point in focusing in on this rebellion and crushing it. That is our current goal. So we will be arriving over here relatively soon. We're going to have our army just chill here, though. Did they downgrade this to a level 2 starport? Very rude. Very rude indeed. Where is this battle? Emperor Prime? Fine. This is exactly what we want. Wipe out another one of their big fleets. It's not that big of a fleet, I suppose. There we go. Admiral has gained a trait, and we are still at full strength, actually. I'm a little shocked by that one. I don't really want to bombard if we can at all help it. Hostile fleet is present over here. We do have ships on the way to this region, but this region is the hardest for us to get to because our gateway here was one of them that rebelled. Okay, we're currently out of consumer goods and energy credits. We should probably do something about both of those. So there's some energy credits, and let's also grab ourselves some consumer goods... There we go. That'll do for now. This Robo Rebellion is definitely some absolutely fascinating timing. <laughs> it's fine. I'm not too concerned, ultimately. The weird thing I'm seeing here is only 2% war exhaustion on these lads. It's fine. They have 74 reasons to not accept this right now, but I'm not too concerned. I want to get this rebellion sorted first because this is devastating our economy. Okay, we're going to move in this these guys here and we're going to land on Threadma Prime. That'll be fine. That'll get us Threadma back. That's going to be a pretty big deal. And... Let's see, these guys can move into Gothra. And these guys can actually move to Cybrex Alpha. That'll be fine. Excellent. A study has been Admin cap coming up. That's fine. Food from jobs is actually currently necessary. Because we're losing food from jobs. Or rather, we're losing food. And that's mostly because Cyprex Alpha rebelled. It was expected. As I said, when I put them all in one place, what could possibly go wrong? <laughs> 
I'm not at all surprised that this is happening. I don't know where this armada came from here. I'm going to probably do that. Okay, that should be fine. Okay, we're invading over there, and they are moving around over here. This is to be expected, of course. We are heading down into this region, so this shouldn't be an issue. And keep in mind, this is with two of our fleets on defensive duty here. These are not particularly powerful enemy fleets, so we're not too concerned about that. We have Threadma back at this point. Let's head on over to Himpra. And we're going to land there. We are 100% going to wipe these guys out. No robots at all. That's the goal here. So we are making our way over towards this region. We're going to head in like that, I think. It's a little awkward that we can't access our gateway over here, but that's fine. Ah, the gateway in the rim system has been reactivated. So we currently have low stability on Sredma. They eliminated all of our structures. Other than this gas extraction well. Well, that's rude. They also eliminated some city districts. This is going to be complicated. Okay, we're going to need to cease robot assembly if there is any. No, there's no robot assembly. We're going to need to definitely launch an anti-crime campaign. We're going to need a Psycor here. And then we are going to need... Can we get in a Ministry of Production? Yes, we can. We're going to put in a Mineral Purification Plant as well. And then we're just going to spam out the civilian factories. We're going to need it. And upgrade that to a system capital complex. This is not, by the way, going to solve all of the housing issues here. We're going to need at least, what, nine total? We have three here. So one, two, three, four, five, like that. The robots definitely messed up Sredma. There's no doubt about that. But I think that'll get it back-ish to where it's supposed to be. We're going to need to buy in a few more consumer goods as we hope that that gets back. We're going to ditch some of our alloys in order to buy in a few more consumer goods. Okay, where is our army right now? Heading over to Himpra. That's fine. So, I mean, yeah, they're doing a little bit over here, but we kind of also don't care. Okay, so there's Cybrex Alpha back under our control. Head over to Runum. And I want you guys to head into Mestros. Perfect. So that is our will to power edict going away. We are definitely going to re-up that one. That is for sure. Okay. Let's get these out of the way. I also want to check... Yeah, we need to start this upgrading, the Sredma station here. Now, trade-wise... Our trade is fine, and we expect it to remain so. This will probably become an anchorage, is my guess. Will the power expiring? Yeah, that's okay. The archaeological site has finished. After a grueling search, the last key was discovered in the form of a minuscule button hidden in one of the carved alien glyphs. In the last chamber, a gigantic throne holds the slumped and motionless form of a large humanoid figure. A horrible smell hints at the decayed state of the being's body. Some glyphs at the bottom of the throne read simply, Zarklan, at your service. The body is too far gone to be moved, but the head is surprisingly well preserved given his age. Not wanting to leave empty handed, some archaeologists rather <laughs> use a laser cutter to remove the head. Okay, so we got a relic there. Oh, these guys. It 
It's true, then. You found the legendary tomb of Zarklan. When the augurs told me, I did not believe them, but the evidence is irrefutable. I understand that you have the prophet's head in your possession? Then, as was foretold, the chosen of the great Zarklan have at last been revealed. As would have been Zarklan's wish, any unsettled holy worlds near our space are yours to do with, as you wish. There are also many devout pilgrims on Celestial Throne who would be greatly honored to fight under your banner. Okay, spiritualist ethics attraction. Fine. We can reach into the Shroud. We're not going to. We should definitely boost up our energy credits, if we can. And we can, for a little while anyway. But let's put down this rebellion before we get too far ahead of ourselves. We're going to take these guys back to Ebonar, and they are, of course, going to go back to assisting research. Excellent. I want to chase down these lads, if we can. We'll head in there. Excellent. We are, of course, once again out of consumer goods. That's not going to help our happiness levels. That's for sure. We're going to sell off some food, but we can't, uh, we can't keep this up for too much longer. We got to get in here and get some of these areas back. We are, of course, landing on Himpra Prime right now. So that is great. That'll get us another world here. Back from the robots. And we will recover from this without any real problem. Honestly, I'm not sure we actually care that much about energy credits right now. Sure, it's going to hurt our damage outputs, but we don't really care unless... Yeah, we don't really care right now. Okay, we'll head in over here. And that will be absolutely fine. We do require additional engineering research. We'll go for armor. This fleet can honestly just head back to Canopus for right now. And we are going to come in over here to... Eh, any of these are basically the same. So we're going to come over here and land on Snarkiel. Excellent. Actually, maybe we should prioritize Cybrex Alpha first. Yeah, we should probably prioritize Cybrex Alpha first. Let's grab Habitable Section D as our priority. They actually have no defenses on D, so that's interesting. It is, however, time to put a cut in here, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. And next episode, we will finish crushing the Robotic Rebellion. You can leave your offerings to the Engagement Gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings, and I will see you all next time.